Uh, welcome everybody to yes. Bacon is my podcast. What's your bacon in seven questions? The show where we have distilled the meaning of life Nay. and happiness Nay. and joy. Everything's positive Literally in the everything. world because we hate negativity. Right. We're all about the positivity. We're positive polys over here. Uh, we've distilled all that down to just seven questions. We take our guests mm-hmm. on a journey. Yeah. Uh, a ride. If you will. We, 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 we latch some big wheels together. Yeah. We travel through this this journey that we call life. Yeah. Uh, today, we have uh, Zai and Dan from Violet Silhouette. Violet Silhouette. What's up? Is an American. What's up, guys? I was gonna give the little little thing here. Let me give the little thing about you guys. You so that thing. People can can know a little bit about the music. Yeah. Uh, American musical duo or group that may or may not sound like how dusk feels, but with more reverb. I love that from your page, from your web page. The first EP, titled Semi-Permanent de- De-Realization, I can't talk or say things fast when they're along like that. So, oh yeah. That's, Semi-Permanent that's De-Realization <laughs> has been considered for appropriate for all mood levels, intimate settings, and night driving. I've tried it with night driving. Yeah. It is very nice for night driving. I will. Thank I will. you. Thank you. Uh, the new EP, Fever Dream, is, uh, it is out now, so everybody go check that out. It is a journey through dance, punk, industrial, and post-wave influences wrapped in a bow of poetic lyrics and inward reflection, guaranteed to please those who want to cry, dance, love, reflect, and soak in the fleeting commodity of dopamine. I am a fan of dopamine. Fever Dream is available now on all streaming platforms. Check out the videos uh, Strange Win and uh, Herida de Monica, which I probably said wrong, on their YouTube and their website. We'll get the proper pronunciations of everything because uh, I am dumb. But welcome, guys. How we doing? What's going on today? <laughs> Great. Well, it's great up? to be we're here. Good. <laughs> yeah, we're we're really excited to uh to get the consu- let the consumers of Bacon is my podcast get to know um the nooks and crannies of your English muffin. Yeah. The the little little where the butter pools. That's mm-hmm. that's what we want to learn right here. So the best bites. That's exactly. Right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. We only want the best bites. So before we break into these questions, please for anybody who's not watching on Strangerhood TV, uh if they're listening in the car or something, uh, just introduce yourselves and let uh, let them uh, know what you do in the band. The names. In the band. Let me go first. All right. I'm Zai Valdez, and I play synthesizer, guitar, and program for Violet Silhouette. Uh, I'm Daniel Popvin. I play synthesizer, guitar, and uh, do some writing for Violet Silhouette. Awesome. 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 So are you guys ready? To uh, for us to mine the little nooks and crannies, we're ready. Let's do it. Twinkie, center of the Twinkie. We're gonna cup your pepperonis, and get to the grease. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Let's do it. Question number one, guys. How many pillows is too many? Uh, six. Six. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I think that's right. I think six. So anything over, anything, anything over, five over five is egregious. over five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I like that. Fun yeah. fact, I've said it before, paraplegics need a five ma- five minimum. Yes. Uh, as per uh, the internet, which is always correct. Mm-hmm. Of course. Yes. Yeah. All right, guys. Question number two. What is the perfect pizza order? Ooh. I love margarita anytime, dude. Mm. Yeah. I, I'm, uh, you know, sometimes mushroom and pepperoni is a great choice. Depends. Is it... Is it for me? Or am I having people over? If I'm having people over, got to cut it into squares. Like oh, hands yeah. down. Yes. 100%. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, for guests, like a mushroom pepperoni. And then you need like a cheese or some sort of veggie for uh, the less carnivorous amongst your friend group. Nice. nice. Now, yeah. if you cut it into squares, are you a crust side person or are you a middle person? Oh, yeah. I'm a crust side person because crust it's like side. every, it's like each little corner is like your own little personal little. Absolutely. Yeah. Your own yeah. personal Absolutely. guy. Different bites then too. You get different bites. Mm-hmm. Right, exactly. You know? Textures and flavors happen differently. I like I like I've it. grown tired of this crust. Let me go straight yeah, to the middle. That's, that's it. it. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yes. Now I want a little crust in my life again. Flip it right back <laughs> Flip around. Flip it back around. There you go. All right. Number three. True or false question this time, guys. Cereal is a soup. Ooh. E, um false. Okay. False. False. False on both. All right. Okay. All right. All right. I mean, wheat wheat based or rice based noodle, milk based broth. You know. Oh right. 
cream based, based broth. broth. Yeah, yeah. However, it's kind of like a porridge too, except the cereal or whatever it is is, is super condensed. Mm -hmm. And True. you know, it's like a reverse porridge. Yeah. I mean, okay. Porridge is porridge a soup? Could be soup. Oh, damn. Oh, well, you know, if you look at like a congee or something, that's kind of like a porridge and that's right. considered soup by certain people. So, but if porridge is a soup, then then that would make cereal, which could be considered a porridge, a soup. That's mm. it. We're verging into is a hot dog a sandwich territory. Very much so. Yes, yes. We don't we don't come up, up with this stuff by ourselves. It's a pop tart or ravioli. That's <laughs> right. Like a, exactly. Oh. I mean, we hold no allegiance to either. No, I can be yeah, uh, with, can be with the right information. Way. I can be swayed in any direction. <laughs> I'm always on the hunt for better for better proof. That's right. We can thank the internet <laughs> for that. All right, guys. Question number four: Gift cards, lame gift idea or great gift idea? Great gift idea. Uh, it's great depending on age, depending on who the age of the person I'm giving it to. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Please clarify. I don't know. There's there's kind of like a a certain. Do would you agree that there's a certain age group that like really, like likes gift cards? I think so. Yeah, I would definitely say so. I'd say like tweens and teens for sure. Okay. Oh yeah. Like under, I'd say like under eighteen. I would. Well, I don't gone, know, man. I would have gone older first. I would have said like because I know that like my my dad like people in their like sixties seem to really right. enjoy gift cards. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Well, because like, where do you gotta get them? You know, they already have it. They're fully functioning right. adults. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. can buy right. everything they want. Yeah, my my dad uh, often has said, uh, like for Christmas, he's like, "Look, I I bought everything I want. You you can just come home and wrap it and give it to me." And I'm like, "I'm not I'm not gonna do that." Yeah, that's weird, Dad. Like, Why'd I'm you not, make it weird? I'm not gonna do that. And he's, <laughs> he's, he doesn't want us to spend money on him and stuff. But I'm like, that's stupid. Yeah. I'm not. That's I gotta dumb. get you something. So right. then it's like, gift card. All right, I know where you shop. Yeah, here you go. You know, but uh, that's but true. Yeah, I, I would say age wise, yeah. Yeah, well, geez, you know what? But now that I said that, like, I bought my parents like gift cards every Christmas for like the past couple years. So right, all right, fun for all ages. I guess. Good answer. Good yeah. answer. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, question number at? five. What number is Mike thinking of? Four. I was gonna say eight. Hmm. Mm. Wrong. Uh, question number six. What is your go-to jukebox pick? Ooh, um, I usually try and do uh, like typo negative. Ooh, um, shit. Which song? I, I want to say maybe "Love You to Death." Okay. Mine will probably have to be "Nutshell" by Alice in Chains. Another good oh, one. Oh, it's a good one. Choices. It's a great one. Mm -hmm. uh, regardless of what kind of venue you're walking into, like, are you? Do you guys size up the room and you're like, I want to keep the vibe going, or you size the room and you go, I want to make this my vibe. <laughs> no, you bully. You bully a jukebox. That's what your money's for. <laughs> I like. I like that. You bully a jukebox. I like that. Too, I love yeah. that. 100%. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, wow, we're here. We are here. at question number, question number seven, seven of what's your bacon in seven questions. Why is that so important, Jim? Uh, mainly because, depending on how you guys answer, you could be eligible for a bonus question. Mm. You've done really well so far, I will say. We've had some good answers so far. I like yeah. it. So uh, so this one, I just want you to search your feelings. Right? Um, you guys are an introspective group. So I want you to, to really kind of like mine the depths and the darkness of the, uh, the underbelly of that heart. I just want you to search your feelings. Think about your childhood. Think about your future. Think about every aspect of life. And let us know how you feel about garden gnomes. I feel like when I see garden gnomes, like everything is going to be all right. Hmm, I like that. All right. Yeah, I feel, I feel there's a certain uh, the people who have garden gnomes, like they got a little something going on, a little something special going on. Yeah. And it's like, okay, you might be in for a touch of whimsy today. Mm. That it, so you probably have a story. To so tell. we, yeah. So there's a science behind this. If you, yeah. if if somebody's got like one or two, they they've got a couple of garden gnomes. But once you hit three, they're like, that person has a story. Mm. They've lived some life. They've lived some life. Yeah. Right. Uh, anything past seven, though, 
Yeah, is, those are, those uh, are the, the souls, representative those of are souls, souls of bodies that are buried in the basement. basement. <laughs> that tracks. Yeah, yeah that math yeah. adds up to me. If you're going into that house, just know the exits. Make sure right. the windows are yeah. unlocked. You know, it's unlocked just down here in the stuff. basement where I do yeah. my canning. Oh, that's okay. Right. Do you think <laughs> I have vertigo? And, and do you think they'd be uh, the the type to like give you a strange tea, a strange herbal blend? Of Possibly some a strange, sort? strange herbal strange blend. Strange herbal yeah. blend yeah. or coffee? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, or a uh, uh, I'm sorry, a Kool Aid. Now, do you Kool-Aid. do you accept oh. that tea still? Just knowing where the exits are, just to still, you know, like eh, this could be a story. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Well, I so. yeah. I, I don't think want to be rude. Right. I mean, even if the tea has a some detura in it or belladonna, and we'll you know kind of send you somewhere, I think it'd be oh, really God, mythic. Sure. You know, really mythic to get I'd out of there. Evil you wizard's wake up, hell. You wake up amongst the gnomes. As long as yeah. you have, as long as you have an air tag like sewn into your underwear, you're good. Okay. I would do an air tag pocket rather than sewing so many air tags. Like, no, uh, because they ain't gotta unsew them, right? Because they don't know if they can. The, the, I don't think the they dryer. wash well. Oh, yeah. they don't. Yeah. yeah. All right. So there's an air tag pouch in your undies. I like that. Ooh. Right. We pat- patent that. Patent that. The bacon is my podcast. <laughs> Air tag panty pouch. But see, you'd probably start running off of the strange herbal tea that that you were given. You you'll probably take off your own clothes and start running. That's Maybe. true. That's On the true. Detura. It's yeah. a possibility. Ooh. I like this answer. I do too. I think he hits the bonus question. Uh, yeah. Oh. I, I like for sure. <laughs> it was a bonus question. question. There's no question. Uh, guys, you qualified for the bonus question. The bonus question is a multiple choice. And it goes like this. Bacon. Is it a topping? Is it a side? Or is it a main course? Boy. There's no, uh, there's no all the above choices there. Mm. No. Well, we don't look like I mean, rule followers, do we? We're really rule makers mm. here. We're just... Yeah, I mean, it's it's so, it's so versatile. I'm going to circle, yeah, the whole, all of yeah, them. Yeah, circle all yeah. three answers. Correct answer, fellas. Correct answer. That is correct. And for that, you've uh, you've won nothing tangible, but you did win our undying a cheers, our undying admiration and our undying and admiration and respect. So, cheers. So, um, and the guarantee that uh, if you are on tour and we come to your show, we will leave a gnome of some kind somewhere in something <laughs> of yours. And that suggests that you do the same to bands that you tour with. And that's how you get on the list. <laughs> yes. Damn right. Absolutely. <laughs> so, guys, before we head on to the full-on episode, let everybody know where they can find everything uh, Violet Silhouette and the new EP. Um, I think Bandcamp is probably the first place we'd like to send people. Uh, Bandcamp.com slash, well, fuck, is it Violet Silhouette? Just search Violet Silhouette on Bandcamp. I believe it is. Or go to our I website. That's what I, There's a link I there. That's where I saw it. Yeah. We'll have all the links in oh, the yeah. description yeah. and everything. Anyway, yeah. Click well. on the links. It's streaming everywhere. So, you know, listen to this episode. You know, get all the way through it. Then your streaming service of choice, just type in Violet Silhouette. Fever Blues, the new EP. Absolutely. And it's very good. And it's very Definitely good. Check it out. Yes. It's a, it's a good listen. I enjoy For it. night driving or for daytime. Yeah. Or for ah, of uh, gnome painting. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's a thing. Gnome construction. That is a thing. Um, before we get out of here and let everybody go listen to everything and then come back for the full episode, uh, I just want to ask you guys. We titled the show, What's Your Bacon in Seven Questions? We like to use bacon as kind of a metaphor type, type deal, right? It's that thing like it can make any dish that it's on better. Well, we like to find out what in life makes makes life a little bit better what makes your day go by a little bit better what's that like the thing that like can take you out of your mindset and put you in a better one that thing that kind of like always is speaking to you your guilty pleasure your thing that you dig you know like some people like to go on hikes some people love movies some people are gamers uh for a lot of people it's music but sometimes for us music makers sometimes we need something else so uh, as of right now in your brain balls rolling around What's your bacon? I will have to say for me lately, it's been working with the body in all types of different forms and trying to sort of take the body into certain states of 
whether you'd call it trance or flow states or whatever name they've given it throughout history um via you know yoga athleticism and meditation nice nice has that been a long time that you've been into it or we can get into it more in the episode if you want but is this a recent thing or is this kind of like been a journey for you for a while um i think in the beginning, there was more like, um, I, I guess the way that I was exploring these things was more conceptual, a lot more, not so deeply ingrained in practice in the body and moving sort of spirit into the body. It's a, uh, it's an interesting journey. It feels like. Very cool. Cool. Very cool. How about you, Dan? Um, oh boy. I mean, there's so much, I don't know. I think writing, I think writing brings me a lot of clarity and happiness and um, maybe not always happiness, but just it helps me process Tharsis. everything everything that's like going on in my day and in my life and at any given moment. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Very cool. Writing's one for me too. Yeah. hundred percent. Sure. And I'm, it's like really random too. It's not like I'm going to sit down and write. It's like four lines here, a paragraph there. Mm -hmm. It's just notebooks all over the place nice yeah. do, you, do you have like the little ones you keep in with you like i know oh, yeah i have like I have, I have one in every bag yeah and, you know. yeah i have them in my bags i have them on nightstand there's like one in every room yeah yeah pretty, nice pretty readily definitely accessible. definitely want to get more into that in the full episode yeah definitely. because yeah for sure well let's move over there so yeah. uh for everybody that's listening thank you guys for hanging out and uh definitely Go check out the EP. Go check out all the music, honestly. And then come back in a couple of days and uh, check out the full chat. And we will see you then. And remember to ask yourselves every single day that one important question. What is it for you that makes your day better? What is it for you that brings a little bit of that catharsis that makes the good stuff gooder, yeah. so to speak? Uh, what's your bacon?